Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Sort. T- <laughs> Let's try that one again. Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do part two of your daily vibes. We're just going to see what comes up. I felt the need. I did that one and I watched it. And as I was watching it, all kinds of things came up that I, I didn't say. But I had a cook cook dinner. <laughs> so, because everybody's waiting for dinner. Right? And I am the, you know, whatever. Everybody wants dinner. I got to go cook dinner. So anyway, we're going to get, we're going to get started. We're going to get started on part two. Uh, both of these tens, they were very prominent in part one, the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords there. This is a major completion here. This is the end of something. Tens are a completion. It's like you've reached, this is final. It's, it, there's, this, this is something becoming final. There's been stress. There's been angst. There's been, um, Definitely somebody that has been brought to their knees, brought down. Somebody has been, um, it's like brought down uh, more than one notch, a few notches. And they are probably feeling very, um, maybe even unable to cope. This could be um, crisis mode, okay? Somebody may be in crisis mode where they are in some, they, somebody could be having a mental breakdown, put it that way. So, but this is the end, okay? So this is, this is like, there's no place to go but up. There's no place to go but up from here. So this could be finally giving in, giving in to some sort of defeat, okay? Now you think of these two tens, I just happened to notice this. This is two, I mean the ten, this is judgment. Judgment. So I don't know if there was a judgment made against somebody. There could certainly be judgment, a judgment being made. Okay, because this is two tens is a twenty, which is the judgment card. This is a huge awakening. Somebody is getting a huge awakening, and it's, and it's so, it's so uh, life changing that it's uncomfortable. It is definitely uncomfortable. So somebody is going through uh, uh, a release of some sort. This this is like a this is like needing to rise up after hitting the ground. So somebody is definitely hitting the ground, or they have hit the ground. They have literally hit rock bottom, and now they have to pick themselves up and they have to rise. This would be your phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, but this is also, when you think about judgment, judgment is about acceptance and it's about forgiveness and it's about uh, absolution. So, and it's, it's, it's like realizing what you've done and realizing where you're going and looking back and deciding to do things differently next time so I feel like if there is a next time because you know sometimes there isn't a next time but anyhow um, I feel as though this is this is definitely the end okay it's the end of a painful situation something that has been very 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 painful and somebody may be going through some sort of mental crisis or mental breakdown because um, they just can't, you know, it, it's been difficult. It's been really, 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 really difficult by the looks of things. Or it's going to be, okay? If this hasn't happened yet and you are watching this video, then this could be coming in for you or you are or you are around somebody that is experiencing this and they need your help somebody needs help somebody could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This person may have a self-image problem. This person may be controlling. This person, this could be the person, This and this doesn't have to be a fire sign. I'm going over the energies of this card in reversed. This could be anybody. 
This is somebody who, this is a loss of power as well. Um, this person has a big ego. This person has a lot of pride. This person um, lacks self-confidence and self-esteem. Definitely probably has a self-image problem. And they may, you know, misery loves company. So this person may be feeling miserable within themselves and they may, you know, uh, it feels as though with this queen of wands reverse, this person is, it doesn't have any ambition, may be lazy, lacks drive, uh, lacks get up and go. Um, this person may also, you know, this person may be in some sort of denial um, you notice the wand is pointing down. This is the thumbs down. Okay, when the wand is pointing, something is going down. This person may be going downhill fast and bringing people down with them. Okay, so and it doesn't. And this could be anybody, any sign. Okay, this is somebody who um, needs attention, needs a lot of attention, and when they don't get attention, they'll do anything to get attention, even if it is negative attention. Um, now the queen of wands in reverse doesn't lacks vision. This person lacks vision. This person, um, doesn't take action when they need to take action. They're lazy. Okay. Um, and may play themselves as a victim. This person may play th themselves as a victim when, you know, mope and use the silent treatment as a tool. So this person may use the silent and may be very, um, well, this is lacking, definitely lacking ambition and drive and confidence and self-esteem that De definitely has this ill. This person may be ill. May even have a chip on their shoulder. If you think about the King of Wands in reverse, unreasonable, self-centered. Somebody may be uh, unable to compromise, unwilling to work together with anybody else. It's my way or the highway. That doesn't work out. This is a loss. We have somebody that is about to experience a loss and it is a big one. A really big one. Um, this person is experiencing a loss because they may not always tell the truth. A loss of stability, a loss of security. Somebody is about to, this is a big loss. Somebody is going to experience a big loss here with the Ace of Pentacles. What is this loss? Whoa, we got three cards or four cards. What is this loss? Six of Pentacles, reverse a loss of something. Uh, this is moving somebody is moving definitely those are both moving somebody is moving and it, I, it, it's like somebody didn't get what they deserved six of pentacles something is unbalanced there's not any balance there nine of wands Now this is a this is this is some sort of barrier. Somebody had some sort of barrier up. Wounded. Somebody is was very determined. This person was very or is very determined to It's almost like prove something. I think it is prove or to protect protect themselves this is determination 
this person is very, very wounded. Very much on edge. Guarded. It feels like we have somebody here that is too... They've been wounded. They've been wounded by their own past. They've been wounded by their own experiences. And it's like they're bringing their wounds on to somebody else. That's what this is. Remember I said misery loves company. They've been holding another person back because of their previous wounds. The six of pentacles reverses a rejection. And this is a loss. We have somebody here that's definitely not awake. This is no vision. This owl is reversed. This is a lack of intuitive wisdom. This person is is very much a fighter. A fighter, 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 fighter mode. And it feels like this fighter, it's the because they're fighting, it's almost like their fight their fight is getting them in trouble. I do feel like that is the case as well. This is unrealistic. This and it has to do with seven years. This could, we could go be going back seven years. Be, and it's funny. It feels like perhaps something that happened seven years ago is coming back up to the surface. And we could have somebody here that is, it, it feels like trying to prove. And this doesn't really mean trying to prove, but I just really want to say that. And it feels like now somebody's going to experience a loss because of their fight, because of their overly competitive nature. It's like their overly competitive nature is going to get them in trouble. So I think somebody's... They could be making a judgment call that is going to get them in trouble. It's not the right judgment call. Put it that way. Anyhow, I feel as though somebody is moving. They're going to be little. This is relocation. This is relocation. This is moving, getting in the driver's seat and going someplace else. Now, some, but something could be taken away because this is this is not giving and giving to somebody else the six of pentacles so something you may you may have been thinking that you were going to get something but you're not somebody else is going to get it it could be a job could be a raise could be at that position if it's at work whatever it is it's like this person may have may have not seen a situation clearly because the queen of wands in reverse is no vision they may have invested in something that wasn't practical because of the seven of pentacles upright, I mean, or re this is reversed, but seven of pentacles, it's investment. They invested, and this does go back for some of you, seven years or 14, could be 14, could be 11 even. Anyhow, um, This is somebody who is refusing to give up on something that has no, that, or this is needing to give up, give up the fight. <coughs> this is, this is, uh, going someplace else is I think there is something that somebody was thinking that they were going to get. And they're not going to get it because they didn't invest properly. They didn't nurture. They didn't take care of. And now somebody is moving. This is moving. There's going to be a rejection or a loss of some sort. And that could be why somebody is so overwhelmed. I'm going to put this card right here because I think it stands alone. It's like this person is standing alone. Whatever that means. I don't feel like it belongs over here. Could have something to do with a child, page of cups, somebody, or or a, a person that somebody invested in. And now this could be, now this, the Queen of Wands in a reading sing, signifies another woman. And you know, I mentioned that a lot. It signifies, you know, the other woman. And that's just an energy. It gives a reader, you know, it lets a reader know what could possibly going up, be going on. There could be a person here who thought that they were... 
so good. They had a chip on their shoulder. They thought that they were just the, the ticket, that they could steal somebody else's person, you know. I'm, I'm just everything, you know, that's that chip. That's that chip on the shoulder. You know, they thought that they, 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 that they could, uh, get that opportunity. They thought that they could get this person to go with them. And now it's like the chip has been knocked off. Okay. Because there's, there's an unrequited love situation. It's not love. It's not. This could also, this could go so many different ways, but this is a, this is a loveless situation. It is. So... But this could also be a child, okay? So somebody could be um, relocating with a child. This is definitely a relocation. There's no growth here. This is an unrequited love situation. It is. It's like there's not enough attraction to keep the relationship going by the looks of things. Somebody is definitely moving. And we have this person. Somebody is so overwhelmed. Very much overwhelmed. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's what I hear. Okay. This isn't, this isn't. Oh, this is going to be emotional. I think there could be some tears. It could be a very intense time. Somebody is moving. Somebody is leaving. They're going someplace else. And I think this person is going to mope. They're going to mope. They're going to cry. Okay. And it, any sign. It doesn't matter what sign it is. We have all the signs here. Okay. I see crying. I see tears. I see moping. I see a lot of pain. I see suffering. I see regrets. I see... Oh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. It is happening. It's happening. Somebody is going to experience a big loss that is overwhelming and it brings them exactly right to their knees because it's like you didn't you didn't think it was going to happen, but it is happening. It's happening. So, I think that um it's going to somebody is going to need to find the strength, because this is a card of strength, this is a card of strength, and this is a card of strength, they're going to need to find the strength to deal with some challenges. It's going to be a challenging time up ahead. Up ahead, we have a very challenging time, and somebody is going to need to find all the strength they can within them to deal with this life challenge. We do have a challenge here. This person may have uh, acted like a coward. They may have uh, not done the right thing. And it doesn't matter what sign it is. They acted impulsively. Somebody acted impulsively out of pride. This is a card of pride. It is a card of ego. And it's like they definitely, somebody made a poor decision. And now they're going to experience a huge loss because of it. And this could be another person that engaged with a third party thinking, you know, that they were better. Come to find out they weren't. We're all equal. And, and this is this, this right here. We're all equal. This person, somebody, somebody's thinking that we're not. We are. I don't care if you are the janitor. I don't care if you are homeless. I don't care if you are the richest person in the world. Our graves are all the same size. When we have our judgment day. Huh. Oh. Look at it this way. We are. We are. We're all equal. We have our judgment day. We all have our judgment day. And we're going to go over our, thin, our sins. If you think about judgment day. And you got this, you got this homeless person versus uh, the richest guy in the world. And they're standing in front of the person that is judging. Who, who's the better person? Just, that's just an, an example. Nobody is better than anybody else. We are all brought to this earth, to this universe, as equals. But we got somebody here that doesn't see life like that. They don't see things like that. And I feel like this person's chip is about to be knocked right off their shoulders.
So anyway, I don't know where that came from, but it did. So be prepared for a relocation. Somebody is leaving. And I think there's going to be tears. There's going to be sadness. It's going to be intense. Um, you're going to need to find the strength to master your emotions during this difficult, challenging time. There's going to be a major loss, whether it's at home or it's at work or, or whatever it is. There's going to be a big loss. And it's because somebody... didn't do what they said they were going to do or they didn't own up to their end of the bargain or they didn't put in effort where they were supposed to put in effort one more card one more it's going to be emotional it's definitely going to be an, emo an emotional time we have a, we have a completion here and this is some sort of judgment, okay? I know that it is. Somebody is going to be judged for their inaction or their impulsive action, whatever it is. It's either inaction or impulsive action or for their actions because wands are actions. Somebody is going to be judged for their actions or lack thereof. And there is going to be a loss and it's going to be a big one. One more card. Whew, we had this one. The other one. This is a loss of a relationship. Three of Cups. It is. There is a relationship. It's over. Whether it's a friendship or it's a love relationship or it's whatever it is. And we have relationships with everybody that we are close to. Okay, our friends, our family, our siblings, our children, our lovers, our our work, our work, whatever you want to call them. I don't work with people anymore. Comrades, what do you call them? People. I don't even know. It's been so long since I've worked with people. Uh, colleagues. Yeah, that's what it is. Colleagues. So, yeah. So there's a loss of a relationship here. Okay, there's a relationship that is coming to an end. One more card. This is like no reunion. No reconciliation. No communication. It's a communication shutdown. Abandonment. Somebody, this is abandonment being left behind. Somebody is being left behind. Or they have been left behind. Somebody is going to be left behind or they have been left behind. The things are going to happen fast. Okay? Things are going to happen fast. The Knight of Wands, something is going to happen very, very, very quickly. So fast, there's gonna, something is going to happen. Somebody is, is going to move very, very fast. It's, there's going to be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. And, you're, and this is like action. It's like all of a sudden... Something happens. So be prepared. Be prepared. Oh my God. I just looked on the bottom. Justice. Karma. Karma. So this could be legal as well. Because remember I saw judgment. Somebody could be facing some legal impl impl implications. <laughs> implications for their actions or lack thereof. 
There are rules, there are laws that need to be followed. This is, I feel like this is universal law. I feel like the, the universe is, is coming in. To knock that chip right off of somebody's shoulder. And it's going to change their direction. Just like that. So yeah, I think that, is, that uh, this could be somebody coming to the rescue as well. Somebody coming to the rescue. I don't know where I saw that. This is a final. This is final. Finally over. Something is ending for sure. This is finality. And this is karma. So somebody is going to receive some karma. And whatever this karma is. With that Ace of Pentacles reversed, it doesn't look good. But this is victory. I mean, this is victory. The chariot is victory. This loss leads somebody in a new direction towards victory. This is something's going to happen really, really fast. And it's going to bring somebody right to their knees. There's going to be tears and there's going to be regrets. And a little while ago I saw the sun reversed on the bottom of the deck. There's going to be sadness. But. In the end. You're going to find the strength to deal with this. You're going to find it. You have it within you. To persevere through this challenging time. There, somebody is going to be abandoned. Or there's going to be. Or they're going to be left behind. But I feel like it's the right. Whatever, whatever is happening. It's the right decision. Good luck.